Hi, my name is Phyllis Curat, and I'm a Wiccan priestess. And yes, boys and girls, I'm a witch. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that in public, except I've been saying it for a long time. Um, as you can see, no pointy hat, no green face, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, but yes, Wiccans practice witchcraft. In fact, the word Wicca comes uh, with the word witcha. It's an old Anglo-Saxon term. Uh, and witch is the phonetic spelling of that old Anglo-Saxon term, witcha. It meant a wise one, was the shaman of the local village. And uh, there are other forms of witchcraft. In Italian, it's uh, uh, stregaria. You have uh, lots of different kinds, culturally defined kinds of witchcraft. But Wicca comes uh, primarily from England, Great Britain, has some Celtic influence, some Anglo-Saxon and um, became very public in uh, the early 1950s with Gerald Gardner, who sort of rescued it from oblivion. He'd been initiated by the uh, New Forest Coven in England. And he stirred into that cauldron a lot of creativity. Uh, there's uh, romanticism and transcendentalism and um, the, the elegant Golden Dawn, which was uh, the, the poet that people know, Yeats, and Lady Gregory, who helped create the Irish National Theater, and George Bernard Shaw messed around with them. So it, he, and masonry, he pulled in a lot of influences into contemporary Wicca. Um, it's undergone tremendous transformations in the last 50 years, uh, especially with uh, the influence, the role of women uh, in uh, Wicca as priestesses and teachers that had a tremendous influence on transforming it, making it more dynamic. My own tradition is um, the, tra the tradition of Ara, and it's a shamanic tradition because uh, from the very beginning of when I was initiated in 1981, um, I also began working with Michael Harner, Dr. Harner, who um, created the Foundation for Shamanic Studies. So I was studying core shamanism, which I integrated into Wicca. Wicca is, um, has a root that goes back to the earliest religion, to shamanism. It is uh, very modern. It's a kind of modern renaissance or rediscovery of um, the, uh, the ancestral wisdom of the British Isles and to some extent Ireland, the Celtic countries as well. It's thoroughly modern and yet it has a root that is um, deep in the earth and goes back to the earliest religion. Um, to shamanism. It's a, a specific cultural form, British and uh, Celtic, some Irish, combination of the two with some other influences, cultural influences. Uh, and now it's very American and very European. It's also uh, all over Latin America, Brazil. There's a huge Wiccan movement in Brazil. Uh, and Colombia and Mexico, Australia, all over. And each place uh, and each era, each generation, brings uh, a new facet. So it's a living religion. It's non-dogmatic, and it's a personal spiritual path. Practice in community if you want to, although you can practice alone. So um, it's constantly undergoing a kind of transformation. It grows, it matures, it discovers new depths, new ways of practicing. Um, and it becomes more sophisticated too. It becomes simpler and clearer, more effective, um, and more powerful with each generation.